Armstrong, Cronulla Sutherland, there it is. Docking, McGaw, Smith, Carney, Quinn, Ellison, Wakefield, Hatch, Diamond, Sorensen, the two brothers, Curt and Dane, and Merlot and Porter. Both Porter and Sorensen passing fitness tests today. Balmain, well, the significance of the changes to last Sunday's team, the return of representative fullback Gary Jack, and of course, Kevin Hardwick, the tackling machine, is back in the second row. The 85. A feeling he was in that 77 west side, Paul Miller. Well, he was. Ellison puts it up. Gary Jack's going fast. Davidson comes in from the flank. Davidson in possession. Outside the 32 and crawling up the ground with the desperation that every player at some stage in this cup final will have to exhibit. Bridge. Elias. Roach. Good work by Roach. Gale. Gale has taken it to the 32. Here comes a try, I think. Gary Bridge. Gary Bridge. Yes. Balmain scores a try. It came from Roach. It went to Gale and then to Bridge. And the first points of the cup final to the Tigers. It was a dummy by Elias to the prop going left and then he gave it to the right and Roach got that ball away. That's where it all started. And, and then Gale, Gale, Bill did fine, didn't yeah, he? Gale knew how to finish it off. He stepped off the right foot. He drew the cover defence, saw Bridge looming up in support, fired a well-timed pass to Bridge and he did the rest. Great opener. Roach. Good work by Roach. Gale. Gale has taken it to the 32. Here comes a try, I think. Gary Bridge. Gary Bridge. Yes. Balmain. Gary Bridge, the try scorer for the Tigers. He only... He wasn't really in a good position to pass. And so Balmain coming up with the ball. Roach. There's that pass from Roach out the back, across from Brooks. Gale ducked under a coat hanger, and he's galloped outside 32, outside 40, turns it inside for Pierce. Quinn can't take it. Dived on by McGaw for Cronulla Sutherland. But Gale is proving elusive. Every now and then he just he, he seems to find a gap, and he opens Cronulla Sutherland up. There's no substitute in football for natural uh, natural talent, and he's certainly got a lot of that, Scott Gale, and on the occasions he does elect to take off, he's creating a real danger for the Sharks. This is Dane Sorensen now. Porter across, Wakefield a short pass. And this is the 5'8", Ellison, who played about 10 metres into Balmain's area. To the blind side, Wakefield to Quinn. Graham Quinn, oh, I thought he might have been able to get a ball away then for Kurt Sorensen, who was absolutely steaming. He was really travelling in the fast lane. The kick by Carney. It's a bad bounce! Wayne Smith, one metre from the line. What a tackle by Davidson. That's the turnover. Well, it was a horror bounce. And I thought Wayne Smith was bound to score... But when they write the history of this cup final, remember a tackle that John Davidson made. He was wrong-footed by the bounce. It was one-on-one, -on -one, and Smith is a very big man, but Davidson did fine. Roach to Hardwick now as we come back to it live. Seven metres inside the Balmain 22. They'll just simply play it cool as Clark plays it. Elias swings it back to the other side for the, well, the kick from Bridge this time. He's buried it up. And he's got the ball back and lost it. Little Wakefield has come up with the ball. And while we were singing the praises of the Balmain Seven, let me tell you, the little Cronulla halfback, Wakefield, he's also playing well. Graham Quinn now to play it. Back to McGaw. Away now to Wakefield and on to Dane Sorensen, who's had a big second quarter. I realise it's only seven minutes old, but he's created a lot of problems out there for the Tigers. Just on the fringe of the ruck. Hatch across for Diamond now. It's very important for Cronulla that their front row of Merlot, Porter and Sorensen do get the Sharks back into this match. They're up against some tough customers in Clark and uh, Clark and Roach, and that's where Balmain are making the inroads. Ah, that ball looked as though it might have been a shade forward, but it's gone across to Carney, and Carney flicks it out the back to David Hatch who goes inside the 20, Wayne Smith, one-on-one, -on -one, and Jack's got him. Boy, oh boy. Wayne Smith will remember the last couple of minutes of this uh, cup final. Twice he could see the sideline, uh, the, uh, the goal line. Twice he could see it, and twice he couldn't get it down. 
the pale blue, the black and the white in that in goal area from where Gary Jack just made that line drop out. Here's Big Carney going back and who do you reckon was first up for him? Little Kevin Hardwick. Pierce coming over the top. 8-0 in favour of the Tigers. Here's Merlo. So Balmain have been under a bit of pressure here for the last four or five minutes now. And here's Docking! Docking's inside the quarter! Docking is going for the line! But he's been cut down by Scott Gale! Gale saving a try! Here's Porter! And Porter's tackled! Two metres out from the line! Can the Sharks score? They pass to Ellison! They go to Merlo now! Merlo dances back in field! And he's tackled 12 metres out! That's five gone for the Sharks. Back to the right they go. Dane Sorensen puts up the kick. He puts the ball on side. And Gary Jack saves for Balmain. But another line dropout. And more pressure for Balmain. Now he's, he's right on the uh, right on top of the play of the ball. It's six more for the Sharks. Dane Sorensen having a settling effect on it. Realising that they'd been too long in the play of the ball to do anything. So he took it up and settled it for one. This is Michael Porter not playing with the what shall I say the venom that he displayed on our screens at Lismore but then again he's carrying injury and it was only late today that he was past fit to play Michael in the 12 jumper there's no doubt he's been very much hampered by that groin injury he just hasn't been able to make the damaging runs from dummy half and one off the ruck that we've seen the last couple of occasions that he's played in front of our TV cameras five tackles gone the kick goes up off the boot of Ellison I don't know whether Diamond's on side but I'll tell you what he's leading the race for the ball oh Gartner Gartner was up above the pack and he brought it down and it's Balmain again protecting that try line look at that for a leap Carney, Diamond and Gartner and in Australian rules that would have been a classic month. way inside their own territory and that isn't the place to do it Wakefield feeds Cronulla's going to come away with the ball no well, was that a foot or was that, was that an arm that came out of that scrum? Balmain came away with the ball, eh, against the head. Yeah, and that might be one of the legacies that they'll have to pay for, uh, for having to replace Porter and Merlo having gone to hooker. Davidson, Graham, you had, you had a worm's eye view of that scrum. What did you see? Well, I'm like you. I'm still guessing if it was an arm or a foot. Look at Roach. Roach, he ran out of, gra he ran out of ground to work in. Bridge. Gale, Conlon, the stretch is on for the Tigers. And just outside of Conlon, Wayne Pierce was lurking up, looking for that extra pass in the back line. It never came off, but expect to see him bobbing up there again in this quarter and successive quarters. The kick by Gale, taken by Wayne Smith. Davidson makes the tackle on the Cronulla 22. Diamond. to Dane Sorensen now. I believe Frank Stanton just sent a message out to the team. What was it, Graham? Did you happen to eavesdrop? Well, it didn't take him long, uh, Ray. As soon as Gary Schofield spilt that ball, he, was ru he rushed down from his seat, he grabbed the trainer, he said, get out there and tell those Tigers to put that ball downfield. That's the game plan. Kick and get out of there and don't make errors in your own half. Yeah, he wouldn't be blaming Gary Schofield, though. I think quite definitely it'd be to his skipper, Wayne Pierce. Why, well, why well, pass in our own territory when you can kick it? Yes, it certainly was, Ray. It was a silly pass under the circumstances. Schofield was going nowhere. He had too much pressure on him. So Merlo's already gone down in three scrums and he's lost two against the head. Boy, that's bad. Here's Gale, back inside, Pierce. Here goes Gartner! Gartner's gonna score! Gartner's in for a cup final try! The Tigers second for the night! There it is, the joy, the jubilation for the Tigers. to the blind and Wayne Pierce did the job he loomed up on the inside took the pass back realized Gartner was unmarked because his mark his winger had come in off his wing fired the pass to Gartner he improved his position he realized the, the Cronulla cover defense wasn't coming and goes over adjacent to the posts here's Gale back inside Pierce here goes Gartner Gartner's got a score Gartner's in for a cup final try the Tigers second for the night this was the try in slow motion and it was quite simple it was simply a case of golden black jumpers 
creating I, overlaps and outnumbering the Cronulla players. I thought Pierce did very well. He realised that Gartner's opposite had come in off his wing, so he fired the pass to him immediately. They always had the overlap, and Gartner was able to finish it off. What a year it's been for Russ Gartner. He's come from, well, he's come back from the dead almost, Russ Gartner. He went to Frank Stanton and said, give me a go, boss. And Stanton said, you'll have to prove yourself. He's done all that. Conlon's out of the extras. This cup final looks like heading back to Balmain Leagues Club, the trophy anyway. 14-0. And Ashcroft High. Obviously, I won't give you the score. Coles now to play it. Through to Wakefield. 17 is um, Withall in field pass for Hatch. And that pass was an example of the skills that Chris Withall's got. He's a player that won't let Cronulla down in any shape or form. Wakefield has opened them up, ducking, got around behind the referee, and he's tackled on the Balmain 32. Five gone, they'll probably push the football through the back line. It's through to Coles, but here come the Balmain numbers now, and it's uh, with Carney. Between the legs, back to Sorensen, Smith, and now back to Coles. Up goes the bomb this time. Gary Bridge underneath it. Coming down with it was the 5-8. It's gone away to Hatch. Now it's gone to Darren Coles. He turns the ball back inside a whistle. Across it goes. It goes through Ellison to Sorensen. Sorensen looks for the corner. Turns it inside and Wakefield puts it down. But what a magic piece of rugby league that was. Darren Coles. Five tackles gone for the Tigers. Will they put it up? They will, and Bridge puts it neatly over the heads of the three quarters, but McGaw or Wayne Smith came in from the wing to take it. Play now middle of the ground, between the 22 and halfway, Cronulla's end, and here's McGaw now. He's into an opening! He's over the halfway, and he got it back to Kurt Sorensen, who was swamped from behind by Gary Bridge. But they've got a nice back line now, the Sharks. David Hatch, Chris Withall, now it's Craig Diamond, Diamond to the 22, Wayne Smith going in field, looking for runners, finding David Hatch and he's tackled. Just in. Balmain absolutely shot to pieces, they've been able to break the line, but the Balmain outside backs are so quick, they're just able to snuff it out. Ellison, Withall, Withall, he's two metres from the line. Ken Cronulla come back, it's with David Hatch and gone through Dane Sorensen to Dean Carney to Wayne Smith. And the crowd come to their feet as Cronulla Sutherland valiantly try to put points on the board. Five tackles gone, or is it the turnover? No, he's indicated five tackles. And here they are with Carney across the ground goes his kick. Russell Gartner takes it neatly and is swamped by the defence on the 22. The siren for three quarters. Strong, I don't think they're going to be complacent. And that being the case, Cronulla just can't get back into the match. Gale kicking in general play. Well, that did a dipsy doodly. Oh, he's found it in uh, the final watch-up. It looked like it had bounced off its point and gone back in field to stay in field. But then all of a sudden it said, you want me over the touchline. It's as if he's got it on a string, isn't it? He? He's having a super game, Scott Gale. As is his 5A partner, Gary Bridge, but Bridge had a, a serious knee problem at the start of this season with his left knee, and I've noticed that he's limping on it again, and that's bad news for Balmain. I would think that Frank Stan would have to seriously consider pulling him off the field. I've got some good news for you, Bill. I know he's limping on that leg, but it was his ankle. Um, a bloke called Chris Whistle accidentally trod him about one minute ago. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure Gary called him a few names. Here's Carney. He's 20 metres out from the Cronulla line. Ellison chipping, Ettinghausen chasing, and he's got the ball. Given it away for Mark Ellison. He's got support with Jonathan Docking. Across the ground comes the little fellow, but Gary Schofield makes the tackle. Quick play, the ball required to the left, and it's with David Hatch in field for Wakefield. Out it goes for Coles, and he's held 20 metres out. And once again, it was the pace of the outside backs. This time it was Schofield that was able to save a very precarious situation for the Tigers. Wakefield. Turning it back into the middle, and that's Hatch that succumbs to the defence of Clark and Bridge. Ellison shaping the kick. He's had a good match tonight, Ellison. He's done some clever things. He's fundamentally a very sound player. Across now for Wakefield. Whiffle cutting out a player, picking up Kurt Sorensen, and that was a good piece of work by Sorensen. It went forward, but he caught the ball 
took the tackle and passed all in one motion. And he deserved a richer reward. Watch him again. Everything in one go. He was under enormous pressure. And to boot, he was given a pretty ordinary pass. Balmain scrum win. Bevan. Tackle on the 22. 14 minutes away from the full-time siren. $123,000 waiting for the winners. And upwards of $80,000 to the runners-up. Bridge to play. Gale. Straight to docking, but it's a big kick with that breeze behind him. Dearly love the opportunity to take everybody who watches rugby league on television into a dressing room and show them the size of some of these fellows. Docking, the kid playing the ball, Fed Ingham. He's not much bigger than Ronnie Quinton. And Wakefield, I think he's smaller. It's quite incredible when you consider the, the hits that we are watching in the 80s of rugby league. Tremendous power in them. And these little fellows, through their speed, their fitness, they're able to keep up with the best of them. Real Davids they are. Conlon putting it down behind him. Touch judge going in. Another change um, coming up, Graham, is it? Yes, there is, Ray. A very unusual one, too. Gary Bridges, the man that will be coming off. Uh, John Owens will replace him. And Wayne Pearce will move to 5'8". Wayne Pearce to 5'8". Well, I don't know why the touch judges come on here. I, to my mind, Steve Roach was nowhere near the play. I didn't think he had anything to do with that at all. But maybe I was unsighted and there was something in the background. But I didn't see Roach in that play at all. Owens has gone on in 15, replacing Gary Bridge, who scored the first try for the Tigers. And he will be one of the hometown heroes tonight, Gary Bridge. There's Owens on. Now, let me repeat, Wayne Pierce is playing 5-8 now. Carney finding the line. To handle the defensive side of it. Play by Coles. Diamond. Ten metres out. Wakefield. Dane Sorensen. Whittle. Roach and Clark making the tackle on Whistle and very much aware of the, the manner in which you've got to tackle him. The smother tackle, taking the ball with you as you make the tackle on him. His hatch, getting it away now to Coles. Coles, he's about seven or eight metres out. Five tackles gone for Cronulla Sutherland. Can they score? Carney puts up the kick into the corner. The big men fly and it's a try. It's a try for the Sharks. Mark Wakefield. Wakefield has picked up the try. 14 points to four. Carney dropped it so neatly and so calmly onto that left boot. And then as the big men went up, the little man stayed down. The crumbs came and he packed like a forward, the little fellow. Diamond. Plenty of... Black and gold jumper still willing to defend. Coles, he's played strong since he came on this fellow. 14-6, Balmain leading. Cronulla, if they can get some more points, the last five would be interesting, wouldn't it? Kurt Sorensen, he's run into trouble. Cunny gets the kick in, and uh, they keep it going. Cunny's going to score. Carney, yes, yes, I think so. It's a try. The Sharks, they're fighting back in the cup. Dean Carney scores a solo try. If you uh, 
if you are contemplating an early night, you better put it off a little bit longer. There's five minutes of the cup to go. And Dean Carney on his own. Kicked it once, kicked it twice. And then it's a pick up on a plant. And there it is. Cronulla's first try came from a kick over the top and so does the second and it's by the same man. This time it was the Carney chip and not the bob. He socketed ahead. Schofield was caught out of position. He moved in, was unable to cover up the ball and Carney scoops it up and any final as exciting as this one. Carney's kick is sweet. He's got the extras. It's 14 to 12 in the cup final with the Tigers in front and hanging on. It will fall in for the kick. John Owens, straight back for Gale. There goes the kick over towards the wing occupied by McGaw. That, that's not a knock-on. That's not a knock-on. I think if you watch it on the replay, it has uh, possibly come off around about the sternum area. There's the siren! The cup is over. Won by Balmain so gallant Cronulla Sutherland fantastic match tremendously strong performance by the Tigers look at that scene at Leichhardt Oval as we wind down the 1985 National Panasonic Balmain 14 Cronulla 12 Bridge and Gardner the tries for the Tigers Conlon potted three goals out of three attempts and for Cronulla Wakefield and Carney the tries and Carney kicked two goals I was about to say that you know Balmain they've done it real tough with I think four players or something like that in rep football and they've played some uh, some tough matches recently we'll break and then we'll be back for the presentation ceremony here at Leichhardt Oval at the end of the 1985